This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. bit of trouble there uh, with our, uh, our 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 audio because uh, 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 what happened here's what happened oh well I don't you do you don't want to know how the sausage is made do you uh, what happens is I've got this machine and when it gets down to like um, oh I don't know four megabytes per second in memory it then reboots its uh, memory and when it does that, you get that little jiggly sound like you just got. And then I forgot to turn on my lights, you know. I'm getting too old for this crap, okay? I'm too old for it. I've tried. I've tried. I've really tried, folks. Anyway, uh, I, you know, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm just a terrible and screwed up and, you know, can't do this anymore. Oh, boy. I'm telling you. Wait a minute. We got Charlie. Charlie, you're going to have to call back. Cause I, wait a minute, I, I know what I can do. I can just put you back in the uh, waiting room. Oh, yeah. Put in waiting room. There we go. Uh, and then I got to do something here because my view changed. Um, life just <laughs> it doesn't doesn't give me any breaks, does it? Huh? No, no, no breaks for the wicked. No breaks for the wicked. Hello there, Phil. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. I uh, I bought some new equipment, and it's a pain in the ass at this point. W w it, it really? Yeah, I, I got a uh, new camera because the other one w uh, continually uh, w uh, in the last couple weeks was uh, blurry. They said that if you uninstall and reinstall the software, that mm -hmm. that will cure it. It, it didn't. No. So I got um, I got the same green screen as you. The um, uh, El Gato. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I wish it was a little wider, but you know it's it's all right. And uh, the software that comes with the camera, the El Gato Face Cam, yeah, uh, doesn't have uh, doesn't allow me to move things around as much as the you would have uh, been. Logitech you would have been. I'll tell you. I I looked at that. Okay. Yeah. Because I use El Gato products a lot. The green screen is an El right. Gato, and uh, yeah. Um, a couple of other things I use are Elgato. I can't remember what the hell they are right now, uh, but I I use them. And I I saw that face cam and I I looked at the specs and everything like that and I went, you know the uh, Brio in some cases can be found for 150 bucks and it's a much better camera. Well, uh, this was um, uh, 1080p at 60 I, frames a second. It isn't uh, the Brio is four, the Brio is 4K. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Uh, it's just that uh, I, I decided that, you know, for this, I wanted yeah, 1080p was fine. Yeah. Uh, but the... There have been a lot of complaints about that camera. Really? It, it's yeah, that pretty it, clear. That it, that, it doesn't, that it doesn't do everything that it should do for convenience. Well, that, that's probably so. true. It, it's yeah. pretty clear, and I'm still have, trying to adjust it. I, I bought a ring light, and that was a disaster. Uh, I thought the ring light would be tall enough. Oh, that's what my them. my lights are Elgato's as well. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so the the ring light was just a cheap Chinese piece of garbage, and that's going back. Uh, I don't know what I did with the box. Well, but Elgato they, has a ring light. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, and uh, then when I experimented with the ring light, it put little circles in my glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the other problem. Yeah, so uh, the ring light's going back. Here, I don't think I don't think you can actually see my lights. No, you can't. No, with my glasses no. on. But uh, uh, you're doing a good job of uh, lighting your place, and I know that I know that you don't have much extra lighting in that. Uh, you have a desk lamp, right? What? You you just have a desk lamp in your office? What do you mean uh, here? In your office, yeah. In my office. This is yeah, these yeah. are Elgato uh, big 
uh, lights. Oh, oh, okay. So you, you've graduated from uh, what you had before. This lamp? That was a long time ago. <laughs> okay. First I got one of these lights, and it only lit one side of my face. So then I bought right. another one, and now it lights both sides of my face, although one is a bigger light than the other. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but it's, it's nice, you know. But nobody wants to know how the sausage is made. I said that a moment ago. Yeah, well, uh, you know, all the other people that call in ought to get better cameras, better mics, and better lighting. You know, if they're going to add to the show, that's... Uh, and, you know, they can buy all of that on the GabNet store. Yeah, the GabNet store has all these things for sale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see what's going on. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, on a second. second. Hold okay, on a second. Hold, 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 hold on. on. Hold, hold on. Hold the presses. You don't say, how's it with you, Alex? Yeah. Well, didn't I say, how's it with you? Well, I, I said, uh, it's okay, and then you just went on, and blah, 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 and I got the camera, and the ba da ba ba da ba da ba Well, then I didn't really want to hear how it was Because it's all you. about you, isn't it, Phil? Th that's true. It's always about me. Uh, you uh, know, we, we decided to buy, we got a new stove. Yeah, we're did very it come yet? We're very happy with the stove. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh we're very happy with it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's terrific. It's got Wi-Fi. I can operate the whole thing from my iPhone. Yeah, maybe maybe you could do the show from the stove. Yeah, but anyway, so I guess so we got that. Okay, so we did that, and that that was okay. Then um, we decided, well, time to replace the refrigerator too. Mm -hmm. So we called uh, PC Richards and we ordered uh, a, a new uh, refrigerator. And today we had our super come up to disconnect all the hoses and everything that go in it, so that when they yeah. come to take it, they just pull it and take it away. And he looks at it and he says, I mean, let's measure this a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> and the, I the said, one doesn't fit? Well, he says, this wouldn't fit in the elevator. I said, how'd you get it up here? You know, he says, I don't know. He says, that was like 2003. Okay. I got it. I move, uh, I, my company moves refrigerators all the time because we do people's kitchens. Yeah. Sometimes we have to remove the door. Yeah, they. they uh, yeah, we, we know that. Okay, we, we know that. So not, he not then, the door to the said, apartment, the door to the refrigerator. Yeah, I know. He okay. said, "Let's look at the. Uh, let's look at what you're getting." Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I said, "Okay," and he he looked at it and he said, "Okay, now we'll look at." They had a thing in there. What it's how wide it is, how, how deep it is. We had to worry about the depth because yeah. the width was too wide, okay? Yeah. Um, the depth with the doors, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it didn't, it, it said there, without doors, okay, with the doors removed, which I right. guess you can do pretty easily, I guess. Well, somebody can. <laughs> yeah, somebody can. Yeah. And uh, so uh, I said, okay, well, let's let's see here. That's, that's pretty good that we can, how much, uh, how much without the, he says, not enough room. He said, it's, it's 28 and a half inches, and this is 28 and three quarters. He said, you want at least a little bit of room so that you don't scratch or dent anything. Yeah. So uh, he suggested that we, so we had to call and cancel it. There's two depths of refrigerators. Yeah. Uh, there's a 24 inch and mm -hmm. there's a 28 inch. Uh, so one of them goes the, uh, even with the countertop. Mm -hmm. And the other one it sticks out beyond the countertop. Right. Now, the one that sticks out, you, you get more uh, yeah. space in the, yeah. in the... Yeah. yeah. But the other one may be the size that you need. Well, what I know that. Is countertop mean, the, depth. The countertop depth probably will make it if they take the doors off. Right. Okay. So, uh, are you going to be able to so get I, the old I, so one I, out? Well, that's what I asked my, my super because he was going to take it. And he mm -hmm. said, well, let me think about it a second. And he said, yeah, but we're going to have to chop it in half. Wow. How'd they get it up? Huh? They didn't carry it up eight floors. I have no idea how they got it up. You know, they didn't, they, they don't, they will not carry those things any more than three floors. Now, I don't know if in 2003 they wouldn't have gone all the way or he didn't pay somebody extra to haul it up. Well, they do make a uh, hand truck for moving refrigerators on stairs. And what it does is it tilts it, and it's got wheels and, and, and rollers on the bottom of the hand truck so they can go up and down uh, staircases. 
So if they've got that, it might cost you a couple hundred bucks to get it out of there, but uh, yeah, chopping it up is good too. No, well, he said he said he thinks he can get rid of it just by e either denting it, okay, denting yeah. it, or uh, you know pulling the doors off and denting it, and then maybe he said by chopping it in half. Well, so think about this. What happens if he dents it and he still can't get it out? You're going to have that in your in your ele not in your elevator lobby, but in your uh, foyer uh, from now until eternity. Well, I think it's his. I think it's his. Once he agrees to take it, it's his job. Yeah. yeah. So, I, if he says he can do it, he can do it. You know. Yeah. Uh, but he said uh, it's a good question. He says I have to figure this one out. But he <laughs> said you know we can figure it out. That, that's amazing. Uh, you would think, well, the elevator can take people. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not the elevator door. It's the door to the apartment? No, it's the elevator uh, door. I see. The door wow. to the apartment's wide enough. Yeah. The door to the oh, elevator wow. isn't. The door to okay. the elevator is exactly 28 and a half inches. Wow, uh, what I wonder what the width of a wheelchair is. Isn't a wheelchair? No, uh, it's a little thinner, much thinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we have somebody with a wheelchair in this apartment house who, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, there, there's guys that come around to your store and uh, they see if everything that you have is ADA and wheelchair mm -hmm. accessible. Yeah. And if it's not, this guy's suing, and he and he has hundreds of lawsuits. Uh, in, in the area, and, and his objective is mm -hmm. just to settle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I just don't know what we're going to do. You know, uh, let's say yeah. this refrigerator goes bad on us. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that our guy, our, our super, can get it out. He says he'll just, you know, dent it, bang it, chop it in half, do whatever well, he's got. The to age do. of your refrigerator has uh, like coils on the back, right? No. Oh, there's no coils on the back. No. Huh. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's perplexing. It's very yeah. perplexing. Yeah. Plus, well, he we, saved you a lot of aggravation. Either you that, or we've got to pay to get this refrigerator fixed because the door is kind of cattywampus. It has a problem. Uh, it lost a little something on the bottom, so it doesn't stay open when you open it up. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, it needs new stuff around the, the, uh, the seal the seal you know that's not difficult to do okay yeah. but nevertheless you'd like to have a new refrigerator this thing's uh, 2003 yeah you know well uh do you think they got it through the window i don't know the windows Are aren't wide win the w windows aren't wide They're not, okay you know it was just the thought that you know maybe they used the block and tackle from the roof and just brought it up no i don't think so i oh. don't think so but it, it's it's amazing to me i have no idea but yeah. you know i mean we'd like to get a new refrigerator yeah uh, and and you'll be able to i mean yeah but we'll have uh, to get one that's got less room in it than this one yeah uh, now you said that you got an extra refrigerator for one a uh, different room right? well that was it that was like a mini fridge you know it was like a, a what do you call it a, a uh, a beverage cooler. A wine uh, uh, refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, yeah. can you get two refrigerators in your kitchen? No. No? Okay. Uh, I'm just thinking that maybe uh, you have a butler's pantry or something. You can put one fridge in and then put the other one in the kitchen where, where it goes, and this way you have double the amount of Well, that's of one way of thinking about it. Then we got to do something with this uh, with this new one we got, you know. Well, I didn't think you took the new one. I thought you canceled that. No, no, the new uh, f mini fridge, uh, the oh, beverage well, cooler. Well, that's that's good. Is that in the uh, butler's pantry? Yeah, but I don't know if we could get it in. If we could move that in here, I really don't know. You know? Yeah. Well, th think about it. You could always get a smaller apartment size refrigerator for the pantry, and uh, that would give you the extra room uh, for those things that no, you want no, that don't fit. No. I, 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 we we got to figure out something for this. Yeah. Well, you know, you just don't have enough space in that apartment. Mm -hmm. yes. You don't have enough. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. I got a cramp in my leg. Ah, I got to stand up when that happens. Um, God, I'm getting old. Um, 
So I mean, I you know, I mean, it 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 it, it it, it's the problem with this apartment house. I mean, it's so old. Right. Right. And, and the, the, uh, they were supposedly in the first building, he said the elevator in that one is wide enough. And I'm going, well, yeah. why didn't you put a wider one in this? You know. Oh, you can't. There's no uh, hallway to get you from one building to the other? No. Uh, no. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, a friend of mine lived in a house that was built in 1900 or 1903 yeah. up in Scar Scarborough, which is near Briarcliff Manor. Yeah. And uh, this house was so old, and the re and the kitchen had a had a ice box. This ice, ice box. box ice box. I had an ice, ice box in San Francisco. Really? Well, this had about 15 small doors. These doors were maybe 16 inches square. And the ice box was maybe eight feet wide. And it had uh, several of these doors from the bottom to the top. And so you'd, you'd open the door, and, and that's where you'd put the food. Mine and actually just had one big thing that opened up. Okay. Yeah. And, and oh, you, you had a refrigerator ice box. No, I had an ice box. Yeah. Ice box. It was, it was built into the wall, or yeah, it was uh, built into the place, and you you it had the thing up above for the right. uh, for the ice, right? And then it had uh, the uh, the center part, which had a handle on it, one of those kind of like freezer handles, you know? Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that that's how this was, except there was multiple doors because this house was built to have maids living there mm -hmm. and and servants, so they would uh, you know they. They had these. They had this box in the kitchen, and no matter what room you were in, if you pressed a button or pulled on a string, it flipped a card with the number on it, and then that's how the servant knew which room to go to uh, to give the uh, resident attention. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, th this is you know. I so I, anyway, uh, this is a real vexing problem. We got to figure out. You know. Well, I, I got a feeling the uh, uh, the way to handle it is a second refrigerator somewhere else uh, in the general proximity of the kitchen. You know? I don't know. I don't think we. I don't even know if we can get this through to the to what's called the pantry. Ah. If we moved it, you know, uh, yeah. and then we'd have to remove a whole bunch of shelving we've got up. But uh, I mean, that would be an answer. But I don't think we can move it in there. Yeah. Well, uh, eat less. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. It, hey, it, it's one way to go on a diet. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, yeah, it really I'll is. Be. You know, I it, it's you know, when my kids were growing up, there was a little there was a book, and it was called "If a Mouse Had a Cookie," and so if you give them a cookie, then then they then they want a napkin, then they want a glass of milk, mm -hmm. then they want this, then they want that. So everything grows. On you when you try to do one good thing, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you get faced with all of this other BS yeah. Yeah. Uh, that you that you got to deal with. It's it's not fair. So what's happening in the news that you want to talk about? Uh, England, Eng uh, England, England, the yeah. UK. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can uh, pull up the uh, thing. Uh, what they are doing is they've eliminated all mandates. All, uh, uh, whether it's for the jab, whether it's for masks, of course, uh, where can I, uh, you got to find the, uh, the, the, England ends all COVID passports, mask mandates, work restrictions, uh, and, uh, and so forth. Johnson also suggested self-isolation rules may be thrown out at the end of March. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they've got less of a problem there now. So they're just uh, adapting really? to it. But you bet if it comes back full force with some other version of it, they're going to throw those rules back into force. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else going on? Uh, oh, 5G. Now, I need a new phone. This this phone uh, has the LTE uh, yeah. deal. Well, this is a 5G right here. Okay. Yeah. Well, they may not let you on planes anymore. Well, they might not let me on planes using the phone. Well, CEOs from major U.S. No, wait, airlines. Wait a minute, warned, you're wrong. You're wrong because it isn't the phones that's causing the problem. It's the transmitters. The 5G. It's the 5G transmitters. So right. what they're going to do 
is uh, a lot of the airlines, have, a lot of the 5G people have said they will lower their 5G to 4G near airports, within two miles of airports. Oh, gee whiz. Uh, anyway, uh, they're saying that it could ground, the technology could ground planes. No, no, no it, bullshit. It's bullshit. Yeah. All they got to do is turn it off, at fi- turn off 5G around airports. That's all, period. Otherwise, yeah. uh, you know, they're good to go. And why and didn't somebody think of this before? I mean, where was the FCC in all of this? Well, okay. they, they were making sure that nobody said anything positive no, about yeah, Trump. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> no, they made sure people were going to say things positive about Trump. you got to remember who was the head of it. Yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah. no longer. Didn't, uh, did uh, Biden appoint somebody new? Yeah, uh, yeah. He, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, fourth shot, COVID vaccine can't prevent Omicron. Well, you know, they still don't have a cure for the common cold. Well, so, Omicron, Omicron is uh, a very minor version of COVID. Yeah. However, the vaccine was very effective against Delta. Yeah, basically. and Delta is almost gone. Yeah, because we've got the uh, we've got the vaccines. You know. Yeah, and the, the uh, and the rest of the people who didn't have them and got Delta are dead. So you know. Well, you know, they're, they're, less they're, Republicans for us. Yeah, more parking spaces for me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, there's not much else going on. You know, there, there's, uh, oh, uh, we finally figured out a way that Kamala Harris can't put her foot in her mouth anymore. How's that? She just says, Google it. You know, if she's asked a question, mm-hmm. she says, Google it. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, are, are you going to be uh, running Can again? Can you tell me a, a time when she put her foot in her mouth? Uh, every time she opened it. No, wait a minute. Come on. That's unfair. Hey, uh, I, didn't, yeah. I don't have to go to the border. Uh, I've never even been to Europe. She's been to the border. Yeah, but not the border where the problem is. Really? She, went to, we, she went to another area of Texas... That, that didn't have the problem, didn't have all the people living under uh, uh, overpasses and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh. Uh, so yeah. listen, uh, let me ask you something. Yeah. Y- you're, a, you're a Republican, right? Uh, yeah. What do, what do Republicans have against people voting? Nothing. They apparently do. No, they just, they just don't want to go back to pandemic rules for voting. Wait see, a minute, wait a minute. A hold on a second, hold on a second. All the rules that were made up were rules that made it easier for people to vote. Right. Okay. Uh, shouldn't it be it should, it wait, minute, wait a minute. Shouldn't it be easier for people to vote rather than harder for people to vote? Yes, as long so as... So the Republicans want to make it harder for people no, to vote. No, they want security and they want to make sure that the people who are voting are the people that are allowed to vote because they're U.S. citizens. No, and no, 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 votes, no, 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 Phil. Votes, no, no, Phil. And the ballots. No, they're trying to make it more difficult for people who are minorities who would have a tendency to vote uh, Democratic uh, to vote. I mean, well, what, why is it that, a, uh, that many more Hispanics and uh, blacks are for uh, photo ID to vote? Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that what's uh, happening Do you is, have that statistic, Phil? Uh, yeah, I've heard it Where, several well, You times. heard it. Where did you hear it? I heard it on the radio. Well, which radio? Uh, the radio that you don't listen to. Oh, I see. Okay, see, I'm, what I'm saying is you're not backing up your theories that they, a majority well, of the people who do this do that. No, well, not necessarily. Some Somebody had that theory and, and had the statistic. I just repeat it like... Uh, oh, I see. You just parrot it because it suits your own needs. That's true. That's true. Now, uh, but the uh, other thing that they're afraid of is that because of the uh, pandemic voting uh, and the a number of things that were instituted to make it much easier mm-hmm. for people to vote, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they there's the it could be rife with fraud. And oh, I election, see, I see, rife with fraud. Right. Okay, and you don't think that the Republicans are trying to create their own form of fraud? You know, I heard uh, uh, what's his name Biden say, it doesn't matter how many votes you get; it only matters. Who counts the votes? 
Did he say that? Yes, he did. I didn't hear him say that. I, I, I heard he was in a news conference, a press R conference. Really? You, heard him ver you actually heard him say it? Yes. Uh, now, if you ask me to find now, the what, quote, what was I that quote do it. again? Uh, it doesn't matter how many votes you have. What matters is how who who counts the votes. And what was he referring to? I thought he was referring to the election. No, maybe he was referring to the way Republicans do business. Well, you you can imagine whatever you want because that it seems to pretty fit. Nefarious That's to me. That seems to fit what the Republican for, uh, something out of the Republican playbook, which he was probably trying to describe. Well, I don't think so. But, I think uh, so. I think so. Well, but that's yeah. what I want to believe. That's what you want to believe. Oh, yeah. uh, Canada. Big truck strike because of mandates, uh, vaccine mm -hmm. mandates. Yeah. Uh, what are the 16 truckers in Canada? They all went on strike. 16 huh? truckers? <laughs> well, it's Is that it's all the... Uh, it must be all the truckers in Canada, right? Well, Trucker Steve isn't driving anymore. Yeah. I wonder. I, I wonder if he has any insight to the uh, trucker strike in Canada. Yeah. Well, I mean, but, you say sixteen truckers no, six, went on strike. More, sixteen plus. <laughs> oh, sixteen plus. <laughs> All right. A uh, hundred thousand protests in France uh, against proposed new COVID nineteen vaccine pass. So, how many people hey, there? A uh, hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. How many people yeah. live in France? I don't know. They don't have any underpants. Oh, jeez. If, so. if you live in France, you don't have underpants. You, you know this. You've heard that, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, it says uh, French authorities say 105,000 protesters took to the streets across the country against a draft law that essentially would ban unvaccinated people from public life. Uh, so I'm, I all, guess, I'm all for that. Well, I'm sure you are. Yeah. It's just that, you know, I think people would get the vaccine if it wasn't mandated. I think, you know, when when you see, I watch these YouTubes and they show people getting pulled over in their car. Many of them happen to be black. And there's a uh, incidents usually between the police telling the uh, driver to do this or do that or get out of the car. And they don't want to do it because they don't like to be told what to do well i have a feeling it's that same uh mentality that is behind people saying i don't want to get the vaccine if you're telling me i have to mm. now i got vaccinated but nobody told me i had to at the time mm. i wanted to and i think that other people would feel that too yeah sometimes we have to make mandates whether people like it or not yeah okay you know, oh, oh, yeah, people aren't going to get vaccinated because we make a mandate. Well, f yeah. Well, you Emmanuel know, Macron, on. it says here, uh, Emmanuel Macron, he's the French president, his recent comment of people who hadn't been vaccinated, uh, who hadn't received the COVID-19 vaccine. Emmanuel Macron? Is it Emmanuel. Emmanuel Macron. Right. Uh, he says, uh, he says uh, I really want to piss them off. And and I will con and we will continue to do so to the bitter end. That's the strategy. Uh, so yeah. it's not just American tourists they want to piss off. So if, if uh, it says here the Verizon and AT and T delay five G, if they did that, how come my phone when I uh, let me turn off my uh, uh, ringer? M no, if I turn off my uh, uh, what do you call it? My um, no, here we go. If I do this, all right. Oh, turn the Wi-Fi off or something. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, if I turn the Wi-Fi off, it says 5G. So I, I don't understand it, you know. Well, maybe it's really 5G not 5G. And it just says 5G. And it's doing that to fake you out. No, no. Wait a minute. And the oh, only on way that you can really get 5G is to get the vaccine. I'll, I'll, turn, uh, I'll turn the Wi-Fi off, okay? Yeah. And then I'll bring this down like this. And you see right here. There we go. See where it says 5G? Yeah, yeah. You can, you right can up in the that. corner. I can think you can see that, folks, right up there. Yeah, it's so a little blurry, but we, you can make it out. Yeah, we do have 5G, so, you know. Gee whiz. Hmm? Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Yeah. Uh, you know, hey, next year it's going to be 6G, you know? 
uh, they took us from uh, 3G to 4G. I hope I live to see 10G. I hope I live to see 10G. Well, uh, 10Gs is uh, $10,000. Do you know their TV sets they're making now that are 8K? I, my camera's 8K. Yeah. Uh, well, my, uh, uh, my uh, photo camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it does video as well. Uh, the, um, uh, my GoPro is, five, is 5K. So, yeah. yeah. But there's not a TV set I've got that can show it, so it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, well, yes, it does, because uh, I don't understand video uh, very much. I, I, I know, you can picture. blow it up more. No, you can. Uh, you shoot it at 8, and then you render it at 4, uh, and uh, what it does is it gives you uh, a better picture uh, for the final product. Yeah. yeah. Or better video. I don't care. Wait a minute. Do you mind if I bring some people in here? Uh, to join I us? don't mind at all. Huh? I know, I, I I know don't, you, don't, don't like, you don't mind. I don't like Charlie to wait. Uh, yeah, and uh, here comes Charlie and here comes Alan. All right. Uh, uh, so you, there yeah, they are. Bring them in. Wait a minute. Ah, boom, there they go. Uh, i got to uh, change my view. you got to change your view? Why? Uh, because I have you large. Oh, I, I see. You have to change it from in your gallery, in your view mode, from gallery uh, to gallery, I think it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we'll all wait for Phil to get his thing right, okay? Yeah. He's, he's trying to find the 10G. Yeah. Uh, and, and hey, I'll take a check. But really? Oh, okay. G. But anyway. A good thing he's not a comedian. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't... Uh, I, I can't... Oh, there's a thing that says view. There's more stuff. Gallery. Okay. F Phil's... Oh, right. Uh, yeah. I told yeah, you to go to gallery, didn't I? Well, it, it didn't appear so quickly. You know, it was not. Uh, oh, boy. Anyway. Uh, Charlie? Oh, give you, him a break. He's getting to be an old man. What, you know? Have you gotten the answer on why the Republicans are against people voting? Yeah, because they said it back in 1980. Because it's better for the Republican Party with fewer people to vote. That's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're not interested in making it easier for people to vote. Yeah. Let's yeah, I just don't have any idea what uh, what uh, they, you know, they have against people being able to vote. That's all. I they think like I think in fact they're not patriotic because they 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 have their job, and their job is to uphold the Constitution, and the co Constitution has rules about voting. Right. And they're not living up to them, and they're not no. standing up for the Constitution. Who's not standing? The up Republicans. Up Are you kidding me? You know, we think that the Democrats are trying to ruin the Constitution. That every, if there is an amendment, they want to they want to get rid of the Constitution. Matter of fact, I've heard you say it a number of times that, uh, and and Jack as well, uh, that uh, Jack is looking forward to a uh, constitutional uh, what was it uh, where they uh, Con convention they, convention yeah, and, where they uh, rewrite the Constitution. I think it's about time we did. But the only problem is. The way our society is formed today, we could not agree on that constitution. Hey, so, hey, you know, it'd agree? be a waste of time to try. Yeah. They did a poll of, of, of people, and all they did was quote the, tenth, the, uh, the, the, the Bill of Rights. Yeah. And a majority of Americans did not. You know, they didn't tell them it was the Bill of Rights. They say, "Do you believe in this freedom of press, freedom of whatever?" And oh, but they preface it. Said no, Charlie. They preface it by saying, "You know, Adolf Hitler said, or something like that." Uh, you know, and if and they and they say that so and so said uh, uh, something about the uh, you know you should have the freedom of religion and and uh, you know the First Amendment, Second Amendment. And uh, they'll say what it is without saying it's an well, amendment. Well, I mean, you know. And these people don't know. They, they have absolutely no idea. Hitler was against the press. He called them fake. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, we had a president like that, too. Yeah, we did. And, um, yeah, but it was true. Hitler and then. fake. <clears throat> well, that's because Hitler made the news and Trump just had to react to it. The, the fake well, news. I think uh, Trump's getting very close to getting some kind of real bad legal problem. So, uh, yeah. you know, uh, Alan keeps saying that, and uh, he he sends me this thing, and it says uh, that uh, New York AG uh, has got dirt on Trump. 
Well, you know, she no, 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 she's... no. They've they've got the goods to go ahead and prosecute him, but well, it's they, not it's not it's while. not a felony. Oh, so, what is it? it Parking? It, huh? No, Parking it's just it, what, what they've got on him is not a felony. Yeah, uh, it's it was a, an infraction. It, it's I think it's the law in New York. Make it a felony just for Trump. Yeah. Well, right. well, so what was it? Was it uh, uh, parking and not paying the tickets? No. Lying <laughs> to people to get. Well, to begin with, here's what him. here's what Trump did. Uh, what they've got him on was just one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that his apartment in Trump Tower was thirty three thousand square feet. Yeah. Wow. Turns out it's only 11,000 square feet, and he was taking a tax rebate based on the size of the apartment. I right. guess he's going to have to pay. But yeah. that's that's not going to put you in jail. No, they didn't say it was no, going to no. put him in jail. But that, you know, maybe, you know, now, maybe I mean, that's a, this, that's a lying son of a bitch. I hate no, to, I hate no, to hear how cool. long he thinks his penis is. Well, may, maybe... <laughs> Maybe the his offices as well as his apartment. You know, he lived in his really? offices basically, and it maybe combined not just the living area but the office area. Maybe oh, that was thirty three thousand feet. Trump has been. problems with math. He told Melania, "Come marry me." I got nine inches. She got here, and it was you know three inches. How do you know? Because <laughs> not good with math. Eleven thousand, thirty three thousand. It's a it's a third a third of it, you know. It divides it's, into it. <clears throat> Internet inches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, these are minor things. Yeah, that's well, mean. that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, and... yeah, Alan, yeah, killed us. Oh. <laughs> Alan did. Yeah. Hi, Tony. Another How you penis doing? joke. How you doing, oh. Tony? You know, you mentioned Hitler. I was gonna. I don't want to change the topic, but to get back to Hitler, I'm just going to tell you, Alex, I took a library book. I've never heard you say that before. Not to change the subject, but to get you know, back to Hitler. <laughs> only for one reason. You know why? I was reading on Charles Lindbergh. Do you know he was a Nazi sympathizer? Yes, guy? absolutely. I never knew so that. was Henry Ford. So was Henry Ford. Yeah. Big time. Big yeah, anti Big anti semi. Holy what shit. What was the name was of the newspaper? The Dearborn insane. something or another? And he had owned a newspaper in Dearborn, Michigan that was completely anti Semitic. Uh, yeah. I thought it was the um, Gross Point, uh, Michigan. No, uh, I think it was the Dearborn something or another, uh, if I'm okay. not mistaken. Yeah, because there was something else also in Gross Point, a newspaper that uh, was anti Semitic. And yeah. that's where he lived, uh, I believe. Well, let's see. Henry Ford newspaper. Henry Ford newspaper. Paper. Whoops. Okay, a Henry Ford newspaper, and what we've got is the Dearborn Independent. Oh. Okay. So, what was the what was the Gross Point paper that uh, was also anti-Semitic? Hmm. There was a Gross Point, uh, Michigan. I don't know about that, but uh, uh, they, uh, they've they got a thing here. It says uh, PBS, at, at Ford's anti-Semitism on the American experience. Is oh, that really? going to be the, is that, a, is that a, a show they're doing, or is that just something know. on it? Talking about anti-Semitism, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that guy who came over from England two weeks ago mm -hmm. and then uh, decided to go to services at a synagogue in Texas, mm -hmm. according to the FBI, you know, he wasn't a terrorist. You know, he wasn't trying to, uh, uh, to commit terrorism or, uh, uh, or, or make the people uncomfortable at the synagogue that he visited, right? What's that? That's the what FBI the F did not say that. Uh, yeah, what did the FBI say? The FBI did not say that the guy was not a terrorist. Hey, every every article I said, everybody's calling him a terrorist. Right, yeah. and he was. Yeah, and he was. Well, right. and nobody said he wasn't a terrorist. The FBI tried to say no, he they wasn't didn't. A terrorist. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Not From the I very beginning. Give, give us a reference. They, where, call, where they called that? it an act of terrorism. From the yeah. very beginning. A after, but in the very beginning, <coughs> they. Um, they uh, weren't ready to well, say Well, of course, that this guy many times they're not ready to do that initially, okay? So they, get, uh, they do the investigation. Yeah. yeah. They don't jump well, to a conclusion like you do. No, you mean like uh, you guys do because, oh, Trump did oh, this, he's no, guilty you know, of that. You, that's they unfair, pissed, Phil. They, uh, the, Phil. The, the dossier. 
Yeah. Phil, it's not it's not fair for yeah. you to try and use the same argument against us that we're using against you. You have to come up with a new <laughs> argument. That's 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 what Democrats do. Because yeah. that's like a little kid going, I know you are, but what am I? That's what I, did. <laughs> I know who you are, but what are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we can't let Tony get away with this, that background any any longer. I, uh, no. My sister wants to redo this room soon, but I have a hard time. I'm going to have to pull. We don't know when we're going to fix oh, it. Oh, no, up, no, Phil. Uh, no, no. Uh, to, uh, Tony, Phil listen to me. Listen to me. Do it whatever way you want. Listen to me. There are certain <clears throat> things in this country that should not be changed. And Washington one of them, Monument. one of them is your background. I know. You know, I never forget when you said it, that. It, I mean, if you months. must, if you, she has to change it and all of that, we'll buy you a green screen. We'll give you what the Phil's got there, and you can have it all the time. <laughs> well, I got I wish this you thing. I saw the old kitchen, Alex. I told Shecky, my old kitchen, I was looking at old photos. She had wallpaper in our, when we lived downstairs with little, like, chickens on <laughs> in the kitchen. Because I, I had a picture I found that was on the floor in the kitchen when she Can was I cooking. ask you something, Tony? Like, How the me. hell did you live with this woman? Yeah. I love, I miss her, but you know what? I, she was kind. My mother was like, she never left the house, really. I, I, I want to know. I want to know how. Know. This how, is why I am with my complex. How really. Tony's mother let Tony stay in the house this long? Uh, you know, she used to fucking dote on me. That was Alex. You have me pegged. Everything she did was. My sister looked at the pictures. I don't want to make the show about me. Let's not let it go on this. Oh, let's why make not? it about you. Know, make it about me. I, go, I feel like I'm on your couch, and you're like. Well, what else should I do, Doc? But Alex, you know what it is? What? She, my what? sister looked at the pictures. She tells my brother, says, you know, she saved all his report cards, his rebooker with Where's Austin? She goes, and my brother's like, he was the favorite. Let's be honest about it. <laughs> but my brother didn't care. They were laughing about it. But Alex, when you said that that day on the show about the wallpaper, I never forget when the next morning I walked by and I went like this. I said, oh, my God, he's right. It's, it's Tony, Tony, it's not just the wallpaper. Well, people, it's people, the curtains. People, people can see it better on Phil, <laughs> Phil shot yeah, because it, it was done at a time when you had left the camera yeah. and um, it had adjusted for the background. And so there you really see that wallpaper and it is so hideous. <laughs> and, and it looks like something that would have been in the Bates ho ho uh, yeah. house. Okay. Now I sent this. She thought I it was great, Alex. Too. With I a little plate on the wall. I I sent this wallpaper to Charlie, to Alan, <laughs> uh, to to a number of people, it and I, think, I love it. I love and, it. Charlie. And I it wanted on. everybody to surround you. Oh look, with, we got, we with got, the wallpaper. Yeah. Now we've got uh, now we've got um, uh, Alan. Alan. Alan's got oh the God, same wallpaper. Horrible. But what is that circular thing? What is that? That's a plate. Is that a that plate? Her plates, Alex. Her angel plates. She better Ooh. be in heaven. She's got well, she she she's can't got be in heaven. Plates. She didn't bring her angel plates with her. And I, you got to see how many humbles I got in this thing. I mean, I'm gonna. If we ever move out, I'm not throwing any stuff out. Like, I'll save it. I mean, she's got so much stuff. You say she has hummels. You know, yeah. like the little angels, yeah. I used to always buy a one. Oh, those are angels, but the Hummels aren't necessarily angels. Oh, no, Hummels, we got the Hummels, so like the little statue, like somebody holding a kite. When oh, the store went boy. out of business, honey, I went up there and I was buying it for like half price. I think, you know, I, I, I think all this mm -hmm. explains it, Tony. It really it does, does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she she had molded me into her, really. It's like anything she wanted. I mean, I would spoil her, so it's like I wouldn't tell. Because if you told her how much something was, she'd be like, what? Well, do you, like, anybody anybody want to bet Tony's had coffee tonight? I yeah. did. I have a pot. I had a Dunkin' Donuts and parcels with my brother, and I got a pot here. Thank you, Alan. My brother went to a cookie well, place. Well, no, Alan sent him. He was going for cookies. Alan mm -hmm. sent him uh, decaf. Yeah, he sent me good stuff. Decaf is He's good stuff. It. Decaf is, gaff, calf is for sissies. No, it's not decaf. It's medium blend Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> but isn't it decaf hey, you sent him? So no, it's not Tony, decaf. Oh. Tony sent me a book. I did. I think I thought of him. Yes, I did. Yes. Did yeah. you like it? I think I it's up and rally. It, it's for beginner beginner photographers. So I think that he knew my skill level. Well, I know <laughs> Alex always said you need to work on it. I didn't mean it like that. I think it's up your rally for the photography. Because Alex says you got to work on your pictures. I mean, I'm not saying that you don't know what you do. I don't know how to take pictures, so I just figured it interested you. And plus, I got it on sale on Amazon too. <laughs> the camera, well, the camera that Phil just got without the lenses or anything, 
cost more than most people I know yeah. make in a month. Yeah. 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 Well, but yeah. what does he have to do with his money? He's not buying hookers. Yeah. No. How do you know? <laughs> Uh, they can watch. Well, they, you know, you get one of those glass tables like Danny Thomas. Yeah. You, really <laughs> you lay under the table. Well, if if if, if, if Phil is in any kind of condition like I'm in, and he had the whole prostate removed, I imagine activity in that part of the world is pretty well nondescript. Yeah. Well, this yeah, is. You can still get. You can still think of it in your head. Remember this is, the old this days. Is, this is the rarest camera available right oh, now. Wow. This is what everybody wants. It's called the Z9. Uh, yeah. Let's see it that way. Is that, so now what is the Z9. It? In a couple weeks, it'll be on sale for Not, 49 bucks. Uh, nobody can get them. Uh, it was only available to Nikon professional service members, and it won't be available to the public really uh, for another four or five months. Oh. People have put this on eBay, and they're Ooh. asking Ten to twelve thousand oh, dollars for it. How much did it cost you? Six. Yeah. Hey. <gasps> my mother would have had a heart attack, Alex, if I said six thousand dollars for a camera. That's yeah. a food bill, probably for like. Eight told, What's I wrong with a brownie? I exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> iPhone. Get an iPhone. I didn't pay it for a comic book. I mean, now, I there you go. Money. Now you see, you use that camera and try and go get some good shots, <laughs> and you can do some very interesting <laughs> stuff with that camera if you could find film for it. Yeah, uh, not only find film, but try and get it developed. What uh, type of film does it take? 120. Yeah. 120. Were well, you looking it up? No. No. I got the box. Oh, oh you got it. Okay. Oh, that's wow. nice. So you got something to play with a little bit. You can take pictures of my wallpaper in your house. Yeah. <laughs> and I got two rolls of C120 Kodak. And nowhere to develop it. Yeah, well, that that's true. Film I imagine there's some place, some place you could get it developed. This this film. In fact, you could expired. probably develop it yourself. Do you have formula? Do you have a fixer? Uh, I and... used to. I used to. Uh, in that place in Sausalito, I had my own dark room in the basement. Uh, so th this uh, was on sale for a dollar a roll. I used and... to develop my own color film. Oh really? Yeah, I only did black. And, and then white. I would uh, blow it up and, you, and do color. It was a very long process when you do it at home. Right. When you blew it up, how would you put your lips on it? <laughs> so, that was cute. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, I don't I get it. Oh, I, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> <laughs> My Walgreens still has a photo counter, so I assume you could take rolls of film. Do they have you. those? Those little th and. Yeah. I also have the Rayovac batteries, 25, oh, okay. 25 cents. Wow. Look at that. Oh, really? Look at that. Came, yeah, came in the box. I bought a, th I bought a camera, that, I bought a camera that, that shot 3D, and then you sent it in and it came back. And you remember those lenticular photos that were in 3D? You just looked at them, and they were 3D? Oh, really? Yes. The, 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 they were like the, holograms. You, and you kind of had a screen that you could rub your finger along and play songs you know oh no i never that's saw a that. lenticular screen oh. where it had ridges oh. in it I got okay that. and uh, i bought i had one of those and i shot shot a lot with it in fact somewhere i have a 3d picture of robin williams oh, that really I cool. yeah yeah so well you see all my toys <laughs> yeah but uh nah, i like uh i like old cameras mm -hmm. and uh I like new cameras. So the new one is mirrorless. And, uh, you know, I, sometimes I shoot at events and it's supposed to be quiet. And uh, if you ever hear like the president speaking and there's hundreds of cameras uh, going off at the same time in their DSLRs, you hear the mirror uh, mm -hmm. slamming. Well, with the mirrorless, there's no mirror and mm -hmm. it shoots silently. And uh, so it won't disturb. Kind of like you right now, right? Yeah, it won't disturb the speaker. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, or Tony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marjorie just sent me a, 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 a refrigerator that she found. Aren't you asleep? Yeah, I was going to say. That's like my mother, remember? What, uh, what, what refrigerator? Now, Alan knows about refrigerators. He was in the appliance repair business for a while. Well, this really? was one from Home Depot, but I would imagine the PC Richards has it, you know. 
They have almost Coming everything. In. Everything well, available. Now, Alan, what happens if you try to cut a refrigerator in half? Does that release gas or some sort of no. Uh, no, free no, element? It, it, both halves turn into a Republican. Yeah, no, no, seriously. Uh, is there any Freon or anything like yeah, of that? Of course that, there's Freon. I mean, why would you cut a refrigerator in half? What are you going to do, weld it back together? No, they no, want to get want, it. we want to chop it in half so we can get it into the into the elevator. Bring Phil and let him sit in your kitchen. Everything will He chill. said he could cut it in half, so he probably knows where to cut it in half. Yeah. I, I never heard of this cut it in half thing. Well, we have to in order either that or dent it so that we can what get about, it in. What about you have stairs? Eight yes, who, eight, I, eight flights. Okay, but they have, in a city like New York or San Francisco, they have powered dollies. They put it on, and it's motorized dollies, and it comes right up the stairs with you. Uh, they you got to turn. It's, it's too difficult. It's too okay. difficult in our apartment house. Buy a bar, a bar refrigerator. It's about this big. I know. I don't care. He's got one. Yeah. Oh. He just got it. What? Didn't you you said you just got a bar refrigerator. Yeah. That's good enough. Take the, take let the super have the old one and. Uh... No, he's going to take it, and then he said he can. He says he he can maybe dent it. And get it in the elevator to make room. Take, take the door off the refrigerator first? It would, yeah, they would take the door off yeah. first. Then they would dent it. Because it still wouldn't be, be you know. It's a big refrigerator. Yeah, it's a big refrigerator. How did they get it up there? Hmm? How did they get it up that there? That we don't know. It happened in 2003, and I'm not talking to the guy who rented us the apartment much. Right. So, I mean, I'm not going to ask him, how'd you get that damn refrigerator Maybe up some here? of him and his buddies uh, pulled it up by Dolly up eight floors. I don't know. That'd be crazy. That'd be well, absolutely yeah, but nuts. It's been done. Yeah. I, I, I'll, bet, I'll bet the couch in, is, it, is it's behind Alex. I have a couch. Now. I have a, This couch had to be brought up eight flights of stairs. Absolutely. And we had, to pay, extra, say, and we had to pay extra for that. I was just going to say that thing had never fit in an elevator, so they could do the same thing with a refrigerator. Well, actually, only one piece of the of the uh, couch wouldn't fit in the elevator. The rest of the parts of it would, so. Chainsaws yeah. work good to shorten couches. Yeah, but, we, you know, I mean, uh, um, I, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the question is getting the old one out of here. You know, yeah. we can get one that fits in the elevator. It'll be a little smaller, but we can get one that fits. So, you know, uh, it's it's uh, it, it's a uh, it, it's a vexing problem. I hate yeah. vexing problems. But uh, what what's going on tonight? Uh, is there mm -hmm. a, a game or uh, some sports event? No, or? I'm just not popular anymore. No, oh. well, nobody wants just, anything to do with me. You should use deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Well, that too. Yeah. I heard Biden gave a speech tonight. I was listening to a little bit of it. Not much. So. Did he fall asleep? It was a long one. I was just uh, hearing uh, two hours. Bit. Two hours today. I, you know, I keep saying uh, Biden should not get on TV that often. He's on every single day, yeah. and every single day, he's he's to begin with, he's looking at the camera like this. Okay, squinting. Yeah, and well, and, he, and, and he's I, looking at his uh, his uh, teleprompter. teleprompter. No, but yeah. uh, sometimes when he's just talking to people, he's t that way. I mean, I think that he more often than not should have people speaking for him. If it's a sure. topic is a financial situation, bring in this the guy who's the Secretary of uh, Finance or whatever, the Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, if it's health, you bring in the Secretary of Health, Education and Welfare, or whatever. He should he should keep himself off TV as much as he possibly can. Then people will maybe somehow look at what he's doing or not doing with a little uh, better perspective. But when they add, am I right? I mean, he just he should he's he, and then he's on too he's much. Like Trump, Trump huh? tweeted yeah. all the time. This guy's on TV all the he's time. He's on TV sometimes <laughs> twice a day. What do you I think, know. Charlie? Well, I tend to agree with you that it, it was better the first few months when he wasn't on TV every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, do you think it's hiding you think, in the basement? Do you think it's helping his his numbers, or do you think it's hurting it? 
his numbers are 33 percent. How, exactly. how, according to Quinnipiac, these are 33%. That's according to the lowest one. The highest one is somewhere in the 40s. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you, yeah. you know, Paul. Well, Quinnipiac, you always said, was very accurate. No, I, you know, there, there, there's no such thing as accurate. There's, uh, there's polls, there's polls, and there's the damn polls. You know, somebody once said. I mean, it, it, it's, it, you can't, you can't rely on the polls all that much. What's going to no, happen? Huh? I think his numbers are down because of he's, he's not getting the voting rights bill passed. I think they're down because uh, of uh, the gas is five dollars a gallon out here. I think uh, that food that me food, food that. Uh, meat is at uh, all well, who time Well, who was highs. it? That, who was it that said one time? Make no mistake about it. It's the economy, dummy. Uh, it was that guy who was married to the Republican commentator, uh, uh, and he looks kind of weird, and he was a Clinton. Uh, was in the Clinton You're not White talking House. about, uh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, that's the guy who said James it. Carville? Yeah, no, that's I don't who think he said, said it. Somebody uh, else said it. It's the economy stupid. Uh, okay, it's the that economy stupid. That was Bill stupid. Clinton, wasn't it? No, it, I think it was James Carville. But, hey, yeah, but Carville worked for Clinton. Clinton, right. 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 Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I think that the, 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 the set piece issue in any uh, election is how's the economy? Because if people go to the grocery store and meat costs too much and they can't fill up their uh, their car with gas without you know having to go to the bank for a loan, things like that, this is the stuff that makes people say, "Hey, uh, I'm sorry, I, I I'm not I don't like what this guy's doing." And by the way, the economy right now has nothing to do with Biden. All these problems were set up by Trump. I don't yeah. know. Oh, uh, absolutely. Bi Biden yeah. made Phil, us, Phil, made somebody, sure we weren't I watched energy. Some, I watched somebody today who said, anybody who thinks that today the f problems in the first year financially uh, with the economy is the problem, is a fault of the new incoming administration is out of their mind. That This was all set in stone and the wheels were started by the previous administration. He had a whole bunch of executive orders the first day that closed down the uh, that pipeline that's coming down from Canada. He allowed the Russians then to move uh, their uh, fuel into Germany, and now the Russians are starting to hold the Germans hostage. Uh, it, he made us from energy independent and an exporter. Phil, you're giving you're giving up. one example of something he did, which may or may not well, that's have that. a pretty that. big part of it. Hmm? Uh, and and. Uh, you know, anyway, we're still a major yeah. exporter of oil. No, now we don't have the oil that we use. Who's mm -hmm. Bob? Q Who, Bob Q K. No. Bob Q K. Yeah, we may get rid of this pretty fast. Hello, are you there? He's muted. Are you there, Bob? Are you going to turn on your mic, Bob? That Bob Q K. That that could be uh, Catherine. It could be. Yeah, it could be. She used to have some sort of a. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, Bob uh, QK, are you there? Uh, he's not going to be there if his I camera is off. Asked to unmute. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to. Okay, well, Bob QK, if uh, almost going, going, gone here. You know, I'm yeah. not going to well, wait. He's much probably more. sitting back in his in his uh, in his room, looking at his computer. No, here we saying, go now. Nobody oh, can get on. Bob, yeah. are you there? Who is this? Who is this? Speak into the mic. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of you. Hmm. I'm going to get rid of you. Bye, bye, Bob. Bob, uh, you can speak into the mic. Yeah, I'll put you back in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. You can sit there and. You know, yeah. what's the word I'm looking for? Marinate. Uh, anyway, uh, no, but I mean, it, 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 you, 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 if economic problems are not set by the current, by an immediately new administration, okay? Well, and the, no matter what he did, forget about all that stuff with the oil and stuff and so forth. The fact is that a lot, a lot of the things with the pandemic have caused a lot of the economic problems that we have. You know, yeah. uh, which he had no control over, and well, and Trump did have control. He had a plan. What? He said he had a plan. He was gonna he was gonna get rid of this uh, COVID. 
uh, that that was the reason he was elected, or one of one of the main reasons is uh, that he said he had a plan and that he, he was never going said to... he was going to get rid of COVID. Yeah, he said he was going. How, to get how rid... could he do that? How could he control well, that? Well, then maybe he made a promise that he couldn't keep. Oh yeah, and where did you see this news? Uh, yeah, uh, you sent it to me. No, I didn't. <laughs> but you know what? It didn't make any sense, Alex. Too, and I'm not trying to pile on Joe here, but like perfect example. Now, with the handing of these free COVID kits, hmm. don't you think he should have gave us these kits months ago? Well, I want to know what happens well, if you have a family of five. You shit out of luck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're gonna have, have to, you're gonna have to ask. Me? You're gonna have to ask me for one. You know, I got, I ordered the kits as soon as they came out, yeah. and then I try to get them for Faye, and they said, "Oh no, you can no." Because I tried it for I, I, I tried it here. And yeah. they said, well, no, it's only one per household, and your household already has ordered them. Then I tried to send it to the store, and they said, no, mm. you can't send it to a uh, commercial mm. address. Mm. And uh, so, you know, that was uh, that was the way it worked. So people are going to be mugging people for their uh, COVID kits. Well, I'm, I'm just asking. They're sending out four. Suppose you have a family yeah. of five. Look look yeah. at uh, uh, look yeah. at Brian. I guess you're okay. going to have to pay. You know, if you, you want can buy more, them for twenty dollars a piece online, right? So if you want more than four kits, you're just going to have to pay if you can find them. And, and plus, the fact, all, plus the fact, plus the fact that it's going to take them up to twelve days to get them to you, right? By I, then, you I, could be, have had COVID and died. I ordered them I mean, on Amazon last week, and I got them yesterday. Oh, so are you positive? Days. Huh? Are you <laughs> positive for Omicron? No, okay. no, no, I haven't. I haven't tried them out. I Those been home around. kits are not necessarily. Am I right, Charlie? Considered to be particularly a a, a good. Uh, I don't know about these kits. The ones that were available before weren't that all that accurate. Brian doesn't think that the home kits are all that accurate. I he guess, sells. Yeah, he yeah. sells the good ones. <laughs> right. Yeah, he yeah, sells home kits too. But so the accuracy. Of the FDA said that they will not. Uh, give EUA emergency use authorization to any home kit that is not at least 80% accurate. So 80% accuracy is better than nothing. Yeah, but do, the question is, do we need the kits now? I mean, everything is yeah, on. Is, sure. No, everything's going downhill. No, but if if you don't, not you know, York, most people. Oh, yes, most, it is. New York yeah. is down by 52%. Oh, oh, no, downhill if, that way. A lot of people. Body bags, yeah. uh, a lot of people are asymptomatic, and they're out giving people who may not be asymptomatic, may be very susceptible to uh, uh, to COVID, and and can get very sick. So you they know, take one of these tests. They take one of these tests, and they turn out to be positive. Do you think those people are going to stay home for five days or ten I days? I hope they would. I would hope so too. Uh, there's Me no too. guarantee of that, and. There's no guarantee that anybody knows they tested negative or positive. In other words, here, here, here's my positive. question. Let's say, yeah. let's say I get COVID, I get Omicron, and I get a bad cold, and because I got the vaccination, it's just, the it, it's just no, no, it's a bad cold. Okay, so oh. I just stay home, under the covers, watching TV, going in and out of my coma or whatever that <laughs> happens when yeah. you get the flu, and then I'm over it. How do they know that I got yeah. it? How do they know that to add me they to don't. the statistics? So we that's don't why know. We say that's an underestimate. We don't right. know actually how many people have realistically had COVID. That's right. No, you don't. I hey, wonder yeah. if those tests uh, have Bluetooth and they send out a signal <laughs> <Imagine he did. laughs> to rat you out. He's leaving the house. Get him. <laughs> I got under my boxes on. I got three minutes. Oh. Hey, you know, maybe the, the gal who was taking the subway in New York who got uh, pushed in front oh, of the train. Oh, that's terrible. Isn't yeah. that something? Yeah. Uh, you know, that happens a lot, though. This It's not yeah. an uncommon occurrence. I don't, I don't teach her to stand so close to the edge of the tracks. No. I, it's not her fault. <laughs> you know? When I was a kid. I saw a guy jump in front of an L train. Yeah. I was 14 years old. Yeah. Really? Oh, that yeah. was the train okay afterwards? No, it it got dented, but now they can get it through my elevator door. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you so know, the guy committed suicide, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty traumatic for me. I, I, I saw 
I saw somebody in the Lake Merritt station walk out onto the BART tracks, no train coming, and go grab the third rail and get elected. Oh, God. That's a shocking experience. Oh, my God. <laughs> I hope he was a Republican. Oh, yeah. So today I got my information on how I can go online and watch all the movies that are nominated for the SAG Awards. Oh. Uh, and there are a couple of them I haven't seen, like the Guillermo del Toro film. I can't remember the name. Of it, Nightmare. Oh, that looks good. And, yeah, that uh, looks good. And I, West, West, Nightmare of the Trump. Right? West Side Story. Oh, I want to uh, see. That. And uh, what else? There are a couple other things because a lot of them, a lot of stuff that's nominated, it's on Netscape. It's on uh, excuse me, Netflix. Yes, Netflix. Well, they might have been. Uh, did Netflix have a number of their own originals? Uh, oh that yeah. Were, oh yeah. 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 So that's why they're nominated. Yeah. So, I, but I mean, there are some from Amazon. The uh, Lucy Ricardo thing. Uh, what's her name mm -hmm. was uh, was nominated uh, for that. Yeah, and, being Lucy or something. Yeah. Being, uh, being, being Ricardos. Ricardos. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I mean, uh, 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 you know, that's that's kind of nice. Well, we have something to do. The wife and I now. I've been wanting to see West Side Story, so I'm glad that that's available to us. Yeah. yeah. Now, who was the who played the uh, protagonist, the 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 Maria uh, person in that? I can't remember her name now. She's a new actress. Oh. What are you talking about? The original? No. Oh, Nicole I, Kidman. I think. Oh yeah, because the original had that Puerto Rican actress Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can get oh, AOC. I, I hated. I hated the original. I hated it because, uh, you know, not using authentic people to be in it. Bothers hey, me. when you're a Jet, you're a Jet all well, the I way. Well, I mean, the only one in it who had any kind of Hispanic <laughs> heritage was Rita Moreno. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the rest I didn't of, care about that stuff back then. I was only like 12 years old. So. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, 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 I'm looking forward to this because this one looks like it's a reimagining of it. And it looks pretty good. That's why they call it acting. If somebody yeah. who is not Puerto Rican can portray the role and and do it, that, that, that's that's why they call it acting. What do we you know? Why why should someone have to be of that heritage to act in that heritage? On on Yellowstone, uh, the 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 daughter, what's her name? She's actually English and has an English accent when she speaks, and she's not on the show. Uh, the daughter is British, yes. Yeah, she's and British and actress. but when she's on the show. She doesn't have the British accent. That's right. Now, you know why? So because she's not playing a Brit. That's why. I feel. Right. But when she is <laughs> not playing, she has a British accent. So does well, that? Well, I'm mean... getting a little tired of that. I'm getting tired of all these Brits going to uh, speak like an American classes over in England, and then coming here and stealing all the jobs away from good, that, that solid guy, American yeah. actors. That TV show, Doctor House. Yeah. That yeah. guy had the same deal. Yeah. So. You know, well, I always it, it, knew that you, Lori, was British. I had loved yeah. you, Lori, before he ever did House. Mm -hmm. But it, so the argument that you have that uh, the West Side Story that they weren't Puerto Rican and so they they sh uh, you didn't like it. Well, these guys aren't American, and you know, should we eighty six those guys for for playing that role? It's a really a stretch though when they had to brown up Natalie Wood. You know, as she, that's, yeah, that's nobody true. ever thinks of that as actually doing it in blackface. Well, you know, that's why she that's why she fell off the boat. Bad Hispanic. Brown face. I thought that was a skin when I could watch it with my mom. A bad Hispanic. Uh, 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 what do you call it? A minstrel show. He fell yeah. off the boat. She was the only type of wood that doesn't float. <laughs> that's right. God. You know something? How many times have you done that joke? Never. Oh, you've done oh, it here bullshit. any number of times. Right, to, uh, right, right, Charlie? You've heard it before. I've heard it before too many times. But not by me. Oh, but I not by you. Oh, well, your right. rendition of it is just, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, your rendition is the, is the, I is the, I just turned it the other day. Is so. the Hamlet of, of Natalie Wood jokes. Now, how old is that Let's joke? Go back to Republicans. 30, 40 years old? I yeah, think, yeah. died in the 80s yeah. or something. Yeah. 80s, yeah. Well, <laughs> Alec, Alan just heard it, so. Right. But he doesn't have a TV. I got to no. tell you something. Years ago, I, I kind of asked the question about all of a sudden a tragedy would happen. And I always considered the, this the better part of the American uh, uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? The essence of, of what's so wonderful about America. And that was the people in a tragedy, when a horrible tragedy would happen, within 24 hours, there was a joke running around about it. Yeah. And a lot of people said, well, that's horror. Isn't that horrible? Isn't that bad taste? And I said, no, yeah. it's the best way of dis disarming a horrible situation. That's what cops do. It's called uh, church. Yeah. Yeah. What they do is, uh, you know, after a terrible incident. Mm -hmm. Like when they shoot a black person. Yeah, go ahead. Well, yeah. But uh, yeah, terrible right incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah now, and, and, you know, remember in San Francisco when we had the earthquake in 89, mm -hmm. uh, people came out into the street and they helped direct traffic and they were helping their neighbors. And even in New York after 9-11, uh, uh, I think that uh, I'm almost people, forgetting what I was the point I was going to make, but go ahead. Oh, yeah, but I, I think people actually step up to the plate. Yeah, well, anyway, anyway, I wonder where these jokes came from. Did you ever wonder about that? How how there would be a, a tragedy, and all of a sudden the next day they be brokers. You're absolutely correct, Phil. Stockbrokers. Yeah. What? Really? See, started uh, off. Back, started back on, in the day. Yeah. Stockbrokers were up early. They were calling all sorts of people. I got a friend, Paul. He was a stockbroker. That's where I used to get my jokes from, uh, and because uh, and, and and they would all talk to each other and from New York and so on, and they would tell each other these jokes. Right, the space shuttle, the challenger. Well, the space shuttle. Oh, I remember what, that you remember the challenger joke? The space shuttle blew up. There were jokes twenty minutes later. Yeah, but do you remember what? Gallows the... humor. That's what it's called. The, yeah. On the on the chat yeah. room, you said yeah. gallows humor. Yeah. Well, what, do you remember what it was? What it was. Uh, uh, Oh, the called? joke on the Challenger? Huh? Yeah, I remember. I, I, I can't remember the specifics, I, but it I was, remember. We had a Christian McCullough go for vacation all over Florida, I think somebody told me. No, here was, here was the, bit, the, the, the first joke I heard that was everywhere, and that was, do you know how it, why it blew up? Uh -huh. Freebasing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that NASA... Too and soon. Wal what, yeah. what, what does NASA and a walrus have in common? They're both looking for a tight seal. Oh... See, it's funny, but our chat is not chatting. It says oh, chat however, they can't they they can't believe the jokes that are being told. No, it says show. chat disconnected. You know, Christy McCullough. You know, she told her husband, "You feed the dogs, I'll feed the fish." Well, that's a good one. Well, you uh, read these online or something? Like no, I heard them a long time ago. You know, just you know. So, you know, uh, you I'm you surprised can. you can still remember them. Uh, hey, the she Kazakhstan. Had blue, she had blue eyes. One blew that way, the other blew that way. You started it. Kazakhstan don't, don't government. Don't look at me like that, Alex. You, you said challenger jokes. Yes, what about Kazakhstan? Uh, the government resigned in response to protests. I don't have any jokes about that. No, I'm just. Yeah. I just saw that headline. The whole government resigns because there were protests. I don't like you guys. Okay, I'll resign. We tried that with Trump, oh, didn't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. No, now no, I got in it. In this case, the government goes to jail because of Trump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That oh, what crazy. about that guy from the Golden State Warriors? He's a minority uh, uh, owner, and he made a statement during an interview, and he said, I don't really care about the Uyghurs. And he was asked, you know, questions. Did you do that? About China, it's Uyghurs, and so forth. huh? It's Uyghurs, 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 yeah. Uyghurs, whatever, Uyghurs, whatever they are. Uyghurs, yeah, yeah. Uh, so t tell us, Phil, what are the Uyghurs? Uh, they're uh, Muslims. The, about a million of them that are being uh, used as slave labor. They're harvesting their organs to sell. They're uh, mm. uh, trying to re retrain them to be good communists and uh, not Muslims. And uh, no one in. The I saw West. a documentary about it tonight. Uh, there's a yeah. very good, uh, very good thing coming out of Australia called uh, "This is the China Century," and each episode takes part of part of the problem that China's had over the over the century, and this one has to do more with China and its identity, and trying to make sure that everybody is all in, has a Chinese identity, and they don't like the idea. The Tibet exists, and that the the Uyghurs uh, were on a part up in the upper part of China, uh, mm -hmm. off to the uh, off to the west. Uh, they didn't like the fact that there were these other cultures 
They wanted only a Chinese culture in China. So is that why, um, uh, well, they got Hong Kong, but uh, what, what's the other uh, island? That Taiwan. They, Taiwan. Well, there was a whole thing about Taiwan, how they wanted Taiwan also under the banner. They didn't like the idea that they considered themselves a separate China. You know. But, uh, you know, in Australia, uh, the Just Chinese watching that about two hours ago, too. Yeah, yeah really. The, the Chinese government owns almost all of the milk production in Australia. And I just heard, and I don't know if it was a credible source, but uh, they have taken control of a lot of the wheat production and wheat storage that we have in the United States. Hmm. Yeah. And not surprise me. Yeah. So, you know, so they're going after the bread basket. They, they don't have to drop a bomb. All they got to do is starve us. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, you have a you have the guys the head of China right now. Jin uh, Jinping or something? Xi. Ping. 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 Uh, well, you do know when you see a name, hear a name like Mao Zedong. Yeah. What the last name is of the family? It's his first name. It's it's the first name. Yeah. Mao oh. was the family yeah. name. Uh, Xi Jinping uh, is uh, is na Ping is his name, you know. Like, you Hi Ping, how you doing, Pong. Ping? Well, you can call me Mike. <laughs> what? Where's your brother Pong? Hi Ping. Hi yeah, Pong. Yeah, so you play that game. <laughs> yeah, whenever you uh, 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 test your computer speed, uh, it says you ping it. Ping. Yeah, you ping it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, he is like a, a he's a whole hard liner. You know, he wants yeah. to get back to the old days. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's too late for China to do that. And it, I think it's, it's an economic mistake to do it. Okay. Well, um, they've got these missiles now. These you, You've heard that, that the American tennis team is completely pulled out of the Chinese uh, no, that I Olympics. Didn't hear. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think that the Olympics should be political. No. Uh, but and, the reason they're doing it is because China got political with a Chinese tennis player who nobody's seen hiding her hair up for the last like yeah. five months. That was that a woman? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was she was like the number one rated tennis player in the yeah, world. She, she said something negative about that's the right. China she was she what she was complaining about is that she was molested by one of her coaches, and they didn't like that, and that's the last they heard of her. Yep, yeah. and then she's gone. So that's why. You know, that's not politicizing it. That's saying this is, you, it, what they were doing was politicizing it by arresting her or doing well, whatever they did with her. You know, her. there's a uh, basketball player, uh, and uh, he just became an American. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, was, uh, mm -hmm. he became a citizen. And he's been speaking out against uh, China, and he's getting a lot of backlash, and he's been losing all, uh, all of his endorsements. Uh, yeah. Because he's uh, been saying that there's been abuses in China and uh, with the Uyghurs, and he uh, he didn't want to he didn't want to put up with it. Well, and there were a lot there were a lot of people that that have the guts to speak up, you know. Yeah, and, but uh, he, he's getting he's getting a lot of backlash, and it's costing him financially uh, to speak out in this speak, country. To speak in this country to speak out against what's happening with the Uyghurs. Yes. Why in this country? Uh, now, he, he changed his last name to Freedom. I forgot his first name. Do you know who it oh. is, Tony? Who's uh, that? The, the basketball player that uh, has been, just became a U.S. citizen, and he changed his last name to Freedom. Uh, the Chinese oh. basketball player? No, he's, he's, uh, he's from, the, uh, he's from like, um, uh, Poland or... Somewhere. Oh, is that Cantor? Is that yes, yeah, it's a Cantor. Cantor, probably, yeah. Yeah, Cantor. Else from the chat room. Yeah. Oh, and uh, so uh, anyway, uh, you know, he's uh, very proud to be American, and he's standing up for, uh, uh, you know, the people that are being abused in, in China, and he's saying that the Basketball Association is, a, yeah. a, is, is kowtowing to uh, to the well, Chinese just because it's financially prudent. That is that. true. Well, you know, I, 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 against LeBron James because Le, they're making a ton of money. I don't know the whole story, but I know what because like you're saying, Phil, just to build upon that, Kant is taking a step out on that. Well, LeBron's always outspoken against. Oh, how much? Going, how much money do you? Well, yeah, they're cashing it on China, and they're being you know. How how much money do you think uh, Djokovic is going to lose? 
Oh, oh, a lot of millions. money. Mm-hmm. But that's not because of, you know, that's because he lied and he wasn't oh, vaccinated. He yeah, but, now, he, now, but he refuses that, to get vaccinated. And so he lied about the fact that, you know, he had, had I think he said he had had COVID and he, therefore yeah. he had an exemption from his doctor and blah, 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 yeah. blah. And that just wasn't true. Right. Uh, so know. that that's of his own making. Now, the other thing is. Uh, but here's the know. funny part about it. Shecky, my friend Shecky brought this up the other day. Yeah. They throw him out of Australia. They literally deport him. Deport him, right? So he gets on a plane and goes to Dubai. Gets on a plane? Well, we got good <laughs> ventilation. You know, uh, what's that? Uh, Emirates Airlines? Yeah. They, you know, their first class, uh, yeah. their first class seating has almost a, a, an egg-like thing. Really? That, yeah. Oh, it's. Uh, I've seen pictures of it. it it's pretty nice. Now, what do they just fly? They just they don't fly around here, though, right? They fly out of the country. Oh, Emirates? No, they fly the Emirates, all over the place. They, they fly out of New, New York. Yeah, they, yeah. Go, they go to the. It uh, used to be Singapore Airlines was like the most luxurious. Now I think it's Emirates. They go to the uh, Mid East, but you know, there's yeah. only one person on the plane usually. So. <laughs> <laughs> with, with the tennis player on there, that's probably the way it was. But you know, they have these uh, like curtains that go around, and they have seats that are almost. Isolated. Yeah, it's called first class these days. Phil. Well, this is beyond first class. I've been, you know, I fly business I know, they have these little egg sh- egg-shaped uh, pods and things really? like that. Yeah. 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 They have those at the adult bookstore, too. Yeah. What do you, what is it like? A, oh, I'm sure you're cookie familiar cookie? with that. <laughs> yeah. It has a little window in it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 If you put a, yeah. if you put a Susan B. Anthony in, the window goes up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I did a, uh, I did a vinyl job in the uh, one dollar talk to the nude girl on Columbus. Well, I knew a girl. Broadway. I knew a nude girl in one of the shows that did vinyl jobs. Yeah, yeah. I'll bet. Yeah, I so I, I used to do the floors for, for this guy. He owned Tiffany's Massage Parlor. You, yeah. you knew him. Yeah, uh, and uh, he owned one dollar talk to a nude girl. And so they they put this. Which, circular... if you ask me, is damn cheap. Yeah. Well, it was a long time ago. And they had this circular uh, stage that would turn around, and then they had all of these booths. You'd walk into the booth, and there was like a window, but you couldn't see inside until you put a coin in, mm-hmm. and then the window would lift up, mm-hmm. and the girl would dance. Yeah. Is that how you made your money after high school? Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, uh, so, you know. Imagine putting those floors in. I, I, I have a little bit of trivia for you if you want trivia yeah. for us to end with trivia. And I think this is late enough in the show that I, I wonder if I, I, the other day I got demonetized for a show in which I can't remember us saying anything, okay? Yeah. I, and, I, I and I don't know why, and they kept me demonetized. So if I'm going to get demonetized, demonetize me for this. Do you know what they called the guys who cleaned up the peep show booths in... Yeah, uh, uh, fluffers or... No, fluffers were that. women who got yeah. guys up for their scene. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah I, I okay. remember... Here, here, I well, remember. you'll never forget it now that I tell you. Yeah. Scum dubbers. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> they literally the guys uh, that went in. If you ever went into any of those peep shows, and I did, okay... Yeah. They smelled like Lysol. Somebody went in there and scrubbed yeah, the things down. down. Or, or if you got in there before the, the cleaner got in there, you could slip in the boot. Yeah, that could happen, too. You know, A friend of mine told me that. Those were the days yeah. the only place you could see porn films, basically, was in these booths. But yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, wow. eight millimeters. Eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there were some other booths uh, on the side that had the eight millimeter projectors and. Uh, yeah. you know, the well, they were projectors. The the they board. were actually yeah. projectors that yeah, you ran quarters yeah. or tokens in. Yeah. You got to see three minutes. And... Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, hey, listen. This has uh, been Before a small bunch of people, but we've had a nice time, and I think that's what counts, yeah. right? All you yeah. people in the yeah. chat room who don't never call the show. Oh, they don't have microphones. Oh, by the way, that's that's one of two one of those. Okay. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you, Phil. I always appreciate you sticking around after My I let you get together on Mondays. Uh, Charlie? Well, this is Wednesday. I'm, yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm Wednesday now. Yeah. <laughs> huh? It's Wednesday. I'm not allowed on Monday's show. No, no. 
<laughs> no, you, know, no, you're, you never said it, but no, you, uh, no, you're staying off of it as a favor to me. I know. Yeah. Yes. That thing gets it's getting huge audiences. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. You uh, might have to do a Tuesday afternoon show. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I I would not ruin the Monday show by doing a Tuesday show because then that would just suck. Charlie, thank you so much. And of course you're welcome on the Monday show. Okay. Uh, Tony's called the Monday show too, although Marjorie said Tony, do you really have to call? Uh, yeah, and, I, yeah. <laughs> and, and, I enjoy listening to the show. I don't belong on that yeah. show. I, I like listening yeah. to it. And uh, Alan, thank you so much. Why don't you all give a big wave goodbye? I'll give a wave goodbye at you. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our that's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, and uh, I'm going to like, uh, let's see here. I'm going to like get rid of them. Okay. Get rid of them so I can say goodbye to you. Uh, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection over most of the same gap net. We'll see you again tomorrow night, 1030, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, yeah, tell her I love her, okay? And please, get vaccinated if you haven't done so already. And if you haven't, wear a mask. Good night, everybody. Bye.